You're watching The Isaiah Factor, Uncensored. It's time for the second half of The Factor, Uncensored. The family of Roderick Brooks is urging Harris County Sheriff's Office to pick up the pace in their investigation. Police shot and killed him Friday near Dollar General here in Houston. Brooks was accused of assaulting an employee and attempting to steal a police officer's taser. He was killed after a brief chase and alleged fight with that deputy. Now tonight, his family demands a body camera showing everything that happened at that moment be released. First of all, Sandra and Demetria, how difficult has it been uh, dealing with the loss of your brother? It's, it's not easy. Um, it, it's the way that things happen. You know, dealing with a loss is one level, but being mutilated and discarded like they did him is a whole nother level. So it's a it's an anger thing. It was a sad thing, but now it's an anger thing for me because it's being ignored. And have you all heard from the Sheriff's Department? Have they offered you any explanation what happened out there um, near the Dollar General and the gas station where all this took place? No, they have not. I, I heard uh, on Saturday from Ed Gonzalez giving his condolences and that he were going to just um, make sure that they do their due diligence. That's all I've heard. I've reached out to the, you know, different places, but I have, that's the only thing that I've heard from him. So, Dia, you are their attorney and you are demanding answers from the Sheriff's Department. What have you heard as counsel for the family? Absolutely nothing. So we reached out um, to the investigators because we wanted to have an opportunity to look, the family to look at the last moments of their loved one. And of course, it's a criminal investigation that said that they could not. Them looking and viewing the video will not hinder or tamper with um, the, the evidence or taint the evidence whatsoever. I sent a letter to um, the sheriff, Ed Gonzalez, um, have not re heard a direct response. He did tweet, right? But he did not directly respond to our request um, for transparency and to have the ability to view the video, the body cam and um, the dash cam as well, because there was a chase with the vehicle as well. Now, one of the things that we have seen, Sadia, and you know this from being uh, an attorney, is that with HPD now, the Houston Police Department, they're trying to provide video footage of encounters with individuals so families can see exactly what happened. Why aren't we seeing that with the Sheriff's Department? I mean, there's a tremendous delay right now. This happened on Friday. And we just found out today what the officer's name was. And we just keep being pushed back and pushed back. The only thing that I can even imagine, because we've talked to bystanders and eyewitnesses of what actually happened, and it's not lining up with what law enforcement has told the media. And so I'm quite sure they're talking to their own attorneys. I'm quite sure they're preparing for maybe a protest that may ensue when the video does come out. But we're asking that the family see the video before the public or the media. That is the right thing to do. And we're asking the sheriff's department or HPD or the prosecutor's office, if the, you know, because they're the ones that are doing the investigation, sending it to the grand jury. So we're asking, let the family see what the truth is and give us true transparency so there can be real accountability. Okay. Sandra, yeah. how, go ahead. No, I'm sorry, Isaiah, go ahead. I wanted to say, Sandra, how difficult is it not knowing exactly what happened to your brother? It's, <clears throat> it's very difficult because not knowing what happened to my brother can easily be can easily happen to someone else's son or brother or father. So I want to bring to the light what really happened to my brother so I can get part of the closure as far as the justice. Mm -hmm. And Demetria, what about you? getting the answers you need and you deserve as a sister. Yes, well, where we want the answers, we want them to take accountability for what you do. We don't want to be pushed, this is not my jurisdiction, this is not this, we want answers. Houston is Houston, where it's Harris County, it's the, Houston, it's the surrounding area. We don't like to be pushed back. If you know that it's a murder, a homicide, it's a killing, whatever the case may be, if you turn that ear, you're part of the problem. So it's never gonna get fixed until we find out. And we're gonna, we're gonna keep going with when it comes to Roderick. 
Because he was and, all baby. And Sadia, one of the things that they indicated in their press release was that uh, Roderick grabbed the the taser of the uh, deputy who was chasing him. Are you hearing a conflicting story or conflicting reports on that? Absolutely. So we've had at least four eyewitnesses and more who want to speak with us. And they're pretty much consistent in that Roderick was running from the police officer who jumped out of his vehicle as it was rolling in reverse. Roderick was running. Then he was tased. And at that moment, he was tased. He became incapacitated. He fell face down, flat down. And then the officer jumped on top of his back and began to pulverize him with a bunch of uh, punches. And at that moment, the officer was grabbing his hands. And when Roderick was stopping, was tr attempting to stop um, the violence and the excessive force on him, mind you, he's already down. He reaches towards the back. The taser had already been tased, so they could not use it again. And so that's when the officer um, shot Roderick in the neck and killed him in cold blood. Of course, we want to get a response from Sheriff Ed Gonzalez on this. And we want to thank you all for joining us here on The Factor on Censor tonight. And we want to give you our condolences. We appreciate your time tonight.